Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Rafael Gonzalez, I believe it's pronounced, the Perlas. Um, these come in singles, packs of 5, and bundles of 25. And, yep, got some of these. So, let's have a look at them. Getting rid of the packet, the usual cardboard folding thing. Let me just close this off back into the packet. Just got these, so I probably should have had them in the humidor for a little bit more before smoking them, but, you know, kind of in the mood for them, so let's have a go. Pretty small. Um, generally good construction. I mean, it's quite a smooth leaf. I think that's a pretty good outer leaf, anyway. Not quite sure if we can get the focus just right on this. Uh, that'll have to do. As you see, relatively smooth, not much in the way of veins. A little bit of a visible seam, but no real gaps there. Generally seems quite good. Generally pretty smooth. Darkish in colour. Uh, caps on there pretty strong. Uh, medium. Solid. Um, it's not all too solid. A little bit squishy, but consistent throughout. Sorry if I'm speaking a bit weird. My throat's not doing very good today. Um, not sure we're going to be able to see this. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of a mixed end. Looks like a little bit of frayed tobacco. Looks like this is, you know, being uh, rubbed up against something not very clean cut by the look of it. Seems to be okay. Pack is medium. Uh, the band. The band's pretty uneventful. Uh, Do Rafael Gonzalez Marquez. Uh, Cuba, Habana. So, not very good uh, band for collecting, but then again, these are a bunch of small cigars. They're pretty cheap. Actually, speaking of which, I'll get onto the price later, but they are a little bit on the upper price mark. I believe somewhere over £7. Oh, between £6 and £7, I don't quite remember. They smell very, very rich. Like, um,. That's quite a rich earthiness. <clears throat> yeah, like a very strong, um, overpowering peat, I would say. Not like, um, not a very, like, um, not a very spicy flavour, I would say. Probably, you know, very on the sweet side, but very overpowering, so. Could get a full flavour scar with a medium body. Uh, uh, principle, I would usually use punch cutters on scars as small, but I'm going to be using this since I got it. Might as well go for a guillotine cut. Also, uh, throwing tobacco everywhere. It's the current, you know, state of fashion. Lots of draw through that. Yeah, quite a strong peep. A little bit of earthiness. Nothing spicy or dark in there whatsoever. Um, definitely something pretty woody. Um, not cedar woody, but like oaky. That sort of thing. Um, yeah, I was going to do a bigger scar today, but you know, I went for a smaller one. I didn't get much sleep last night, so just, you know, quick one. And let's like this. Going back to the slider for a bit. Sorry, I'll uh, do it so it's not so noisy for you. Not sure if you can see, but I just aim straight at it, make sure the whole of the end gets lit. As you see, it's all pretty much lit there. Tend to go right around the edge, gives it that little edge of a burn. And a little bit back in the center. And a little bit while taking a couple of puffs. Straight away that's um that's quite a heavy flavour. Let's just clean my palate for a second. Oh yeah, that's um, 
it's what I would describe as a rough taste, I guess, you know, um, with the very rough cigars where you've just got, you know, straight up just tobacco rolled together cigars, you know, it's like a strong or strong, a little bit of peat in there usually. That's pretty much what we've got here. I'm not sure if you could actually hear that, but when I took a puff, it was a lot of sizzling. Lots of smoke and lots of airflow coming through this. That's very nice. A lot of scars I've been having recently are more towards the nuttiness. Definitely a lot of uh, sweet flavour in here, maybe light to medium body. Yeah, I'm not tasting too much other than that. No complex flavours. Doesn't feel all too strong. I think um, the flavour in there is very strong. It's just not harsh flavours. It's uh, you know, generally pretty sweet. Yeah, lots of a um, little bit cedary and decently nutty on the palate. Definitely very okay finish, retro hailing that a little bit. Minor bit of a burn. As per usual, I always get a chocolatey taste when I retro hail scars. It's just something that mainly seems to happen to me. But yeah, a little bit of that. Definitely quite okay. This is just the uh, start of the scar though. Also, I've got to start a stopwatch, but that's pretty easy to fix. I just go back and find out how long I've been uh, smoking it to this point and uh, add it to the time. Yeah, so far, that's um, this guy definitely packs the flavor. That's pretty nice. Yeah, very enjoyable. There's a lot of the flavor still lingering in my mouth. So um, when we make it a little bit down the scar, it's a pretty small cigar, so maybe when we get halfway down it, then uh, I'll make another video clip and I will tell you what the flavours are like then. So I'll see you in a minute. Uh, so we're back on this and we are about 13, 14 minutes in since we started lighting it. And I just like to point out this ash before it falls off. Looks like a uh, little coin stacked on top of each other. Uh, the La Flor de Cano Petit Corona also did this. It's just very specific to the burn, just thought I'd point that out. So far very good. Um, usually for these smaller cigars you'd expect the burn to go way off. But um, yeah, this is not cheap, so it seems to be doing pretty good. Pretty nice sweet flavours, Pete. Nice. Nothing too spectacular when you're going for um, the uh, lighter cigars, you tend not to get too many flavours. Let me just show you the price of this. It's £7.79 for one. That is quite a lot. You could buy a JLP conservas for that. It's ludicrously expensive. They seem to be very good, but that is quite quite on the higher you know price market for this size. You can buy it in five, uh, buy a single, buy a five pack, and you could also buy a box of 25. And yeah, price scales accordingly. The actual official specs: length four inches, ring gauge 40. Never every, never anything much in the cigar descriptions of some of these scars. January 2013. Light to medium strength, medium sweet flavor. 20 to 25 minute smoke. I actually think we might be looking at something a little bit longer than that. Although we are getting a lot of smoke coming out of this. Not entirely sure if the ash is going to hold on much longer. The band has um, come loose from the heat though. And the ash is probably going to fall off taking this off.
little bit of the tobacco might peel off there, so I'm just going to be very careful with that. There we go. Around the plug area is very soft. It seems to be taking in a lot of moisture. There we go. And I said, not very eventful band. A couple of little bits around the uh, cap peeled. That's fine though. Definitely uh, absorbing a lot of the moisture here. Although I was speaking of the burn being pretty good. A little bit of a dip there. Not sure how that's going to translate. Let's just tap that off very gently. Generally when you do that you'll need to top it up a little bit. But let's leave that. Let's see if it sorts itself. Seems like the draw's cut down a little bit maybe because it's getting wet. Tobacco swells when it does that. Very good, sweet, earthy, nutty taste. Show you this here. See it all sort of self fine. Feels like the flavors are burning just a little bit. Almost as if, you know, um, cheap scars to go out and then you light them. That kind of taste where the flavor goes flat, a little bit like that, since you not that ash off. Yeah, yeah, decently sweet. Definitely um, nutty textures right at the back. Still very strong sweet aftertaste. So um, we are about 17-ish minutes through this. So yeah, we could be looking at half hour smoke, 25 minutes, I'd probably say is a minimum. I smoke quite fast, so if we get 25 minutes, it'll be a bit longer for you usually. Um, yeah, so I'll see you all in the next segment, which might be the end of the cigar. So it's uh, time to get the last video segment on this, and um, yeah, it's been great. We are 30 minutes on that stopwatch. Uh, yeah, it was three and a half minutes that I was um, late in starting the stopwatch, so... 33, 34 minutes, and probably, you know, a little bit longer. If, if you smoke quite slowly, this could be a 40 minute cigar instead of the 20 to 25 it said. Just make sure, yeah, the flavor is kind of dying now. It's getting to that end bit where it's just kind of like um, a sort of spicy tar taste, you know what I mean? But yeah, the whole way up to here, it's uh, been really good. It's, I wouldn't say very complicated flavours, I would say the flavours it does have, which were, you know, a lot of peat throughout, the initial flavour pretty much carried its way. It was a um, decent amount of earthiness in there, nothing too strong about that, but it's a very strong peat in there, a uh, decent bit of nuttiness, and maybe an okay finish. It's not, it's not quite a whiskey, which uh, you would use to describe that, but yeah, I think that's an adequate description. Definitely decently woody anyway. Um, yeah, very enjoyable scar. A little bit on the expensive side at £7.79, was it? I closed the link. <laughs> Don't know why I do that. But um, yeah, a little bit on the pricey side. But they are very good. So if you pick up a five of these, then... I don't know, maybe if you're out, they'd be good for that situation. They are decently quick smokes at that price. But they are very good and very high quality, so... Yeah, I've let that go out. Not a very good idea, but the it held this ash very well. That's very good. The construction, I would say, is very, very good. No problems. The berm is very good. The wrapper is very good. Um, pretty high quality wrapper. Everything about that is pretty good. I believe... Um, I've lost my track of thought. I thinking of another cigar entirely right there. But um, yeah, it's a very good cigar. If you like heavy cigars with a lot of flavour, to sit and enjoy. Of course, this isn't a scarf you, it's only a small scarf, of course. Um, but yeah, I would recommend you pick up a pack. They're actually, you know, pretty good. 
So uh, thanks for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Uh, link for that is in the description. Also a link to where I, where I buy most of my cigars. Those are also in the description. My uh, Patreon page is also there. So uh, if you want to check any of those out, go ahead. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next review.